Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, as we gather today to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather us into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your Son to be our mother also, grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about the question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters. And they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees who had become believers stood and said, it is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to say about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Our response let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it, the tribes go up 
the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the, the house, house of, of the Lord. Lord. As I remain in you, says the Lord, whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does, he prunes, so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this, my Father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Fatima, reminding us of the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary, especially to the three little shepherds, Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco, beginning in May 13, 1917, in a place called Fatima. We could say that these manifestations can be considered as, as some over time that in recent times the Virgin Mary has made. Pius XII already cautioned, The great sin of modernity is the loss of the sense of sin. But this does not come for free. In fact, the world has recently suffered the worst wars in the history of mankind. Never ever so many people had been killed and mistreated as in the 20th century. The description that Pope Benedict XVI gave was very eloquent. No previous time has endured such cruel and bloody wars as our time. Things have occurred worse than anything that happened ever before. Of course, Benedict was talking about the two wars in the 20th century, World War I, World War I and World War II. Two. But God is merciful, Father of goodness, that does not abandon us, even though we may have deviated 
considerably from his will. Precisely in this century of horrors and holocaust, as St. John Paul II said, God has wanted to comfort mankind in several ways, and one of them has been the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary. At the end of the 19th century, Lourdes was highlighted. At the beginning of the 20th century, Fatima apparitions stand out. These facts show some providential parallels. On the one hand, the visionaries of the Virgin Mary have always been very young, children. They belong to a poor family, living a simple condition and even illiterate, no education, but willing to abide by the will of the Father. This Jesus recognizes them as my brother, my sister, and my mother. Secondly, the subject of the Virgin Mary's appeal was the atonement for men's sins, the repentance and prayer for sinners. In all the apparitions, especially in the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary to the three shepherds in Fatima, he commended even the angel of Portugal to tell the kids, the young children, to pray, 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 as simple as that. Pray, 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 to pray for sinners, to pray for the repentance of sins, and of course, eventually, for the conversion of Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We are all called now to consecrate ourselves also to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which is the heart that brings about the apparition of the Blessed Virgin all over the world and so many places in the world. In today's Gospel, we are to think about ourselves. Jesus mentioned about pruning, to prune the branches. He said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Apart from me, you will not bear fruit. The first lesson here in the gospel is recognizing who we are. We are not the vine, we are not the trunk of the tree. But rather, we are branches. And if you see a, a vineyard, if you have been to a vineyard, when you see the, you know, the vine of the grapes or where the wine came from, you almost cannot recognize which one is the vine and the branch. Because one flows from the other. It is only when you start pruning the branches that you will realize that the other one truly is the branch and the other one is the vine, the source of life of the branches. And so Jesus is telling his disciples and us today, I am the vine and you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Because without me, you can do nothing. And that's true. We just have to rec recognize that and accept that. Without the vine, we can do nothing. No matter how good you are, you think. Because that goodness, that heart, inside your heart that blooms goodness, comes only from the vine. And so there are so many things that we need to prune, to cut away from, you know, apart from the vine. We cut away, we slice away our selfishness, greed, you know, our desire for consumption, for material things. And if we listen, really listen, and hear the Word of God in our heart, 
that word will bear fruit in our actions, in our life. And so we listen to the Word of God and let it flower within us and let it grow and bloom. Today's Gospel reminds me of the prayer of St. Ignatius. This prayer gets to the heart of Jesus' words in the Gospel today. His prayer is, Take, Lord, and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, and my entire will, all that I have and possess. You have given all to me. To you, O Lord, I return it. All is yours. Dispose of it wholly according to your will. Give me your love and your grace, for this is sufficient for me. Letting go and let God. We hear that expression. Let go and let God. Sometimes it's very painful for some because they're so focused on themselves. So in order for us to grow spiritually, we should start pruning that self, that selfishness, that self-centeredness. And allow God to do what He would like to do with you. If we start pruning, letting go, that leads us to a new relationship with God and others. As Jesus says, as branches of His vine, He remains in us, and we with Him. We don't have to face that experience of being pruned on our own or in the strength of our own resources alone. The Lord who makes His home in us will sustain us in those times and will lead us through the painful experience of pruning into a new and more beautiful life. However, for that to happen, we need to remain in Him as He remains in us. We need to keep in communion with Him as He is in communion with us. I am the vine, and you are the branches. It is good to recognize that without the vine, we can do nothing, even the good that we do. Without the vine, without us being attached to the vine, in communion with the vine, our good, whatever it is that we are doing, will not bear fruit because it's only through Him, the vine, that we can bear fruit and we can bear fruit beyond our imagination. Amen. Please stand and let us offer our prayers. In every petition, let your response be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Catholic Church, that we seek the certainty of God's love through His Son during these times of uncertainty, we pray to the Lord. For those who are ill with the coronavirus or other serious illnesses, may Jesus be their healer and their source of comfort and strength, we pray to the Lord. For first responders, doctors, nurses, caregivers, and family members who care for the sick, may they find strength in their works of mercy, we pray to the Lord. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that our God and Father will help us all to persevere in faith, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray together with our patron Saint Catherine of Siena for all our petitions. Let us pray for the intentions of Alex and Wilma Escolano, Leo Estrada, and for the intentions for the soul of Oswaldo Larios. For all this, we pray to the Lord. 
Loving Father, receive our prayers with trust and confidence. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness. We have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of even hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we bring you, and grant that, enlightened by the Holy Spirit and encouraged by the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our hearts may always seek out and treasure the things that are yours through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Receive the prayers and intentions we offer, especially for the intentions of St. Catherine of Siena School. Receive the prayers and intentions for Alex and Wilma Escolano, the intentions of Leo Estrada. We pray also for the intentions of the St. Catherine of Siena Fatima group. We pray also for Danilo Olarte, Maria Cairo, Monsignor Jim Gell. Receive the intentions we offer for Jerry and Dobby Stabilio. Dennis and Ami, Ian Benedicto. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep with the hope of sharing your resurrection. We pray for Oswaldo Larius, for Jocelyn Gachalian. Sinaida Maligaya di Mayuga, and all who have died in your mercy, Leia Estapona, Librada Gabing, and Guadalupe Perez. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Catherine of Siena. We pray for Saint Lucia, Saint Jacinta, and Saint Francisco, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we who devoutly honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Fatima, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, 
may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a nice day. So we'll have a short procession here inside the church. Kindly bring those vases of flowers as we make the procession. Just gather here in front. Just follow me around here for the procession. Roses. Sige.
Novena to Our Lady of Fatima. who did prepare a worthy dwelling place for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Deign, we beseech you, to keep the memory of the wonderful story of Fatima, the grace to order our lives according to your own heart. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help, and sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I have recourse to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. I come to you. Before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Prayer to Our Lady of Fatima. Dear Mother Mary, Lady of the Rosary of Fatima, show us, we humbly pray, 
the tender affection of which you gave a striking proof in your apparitions to the devoted people of Fatima. Look down with pity upon your children, that we may rejoice evermore in the strong protection of your loving and maternal heart. Bless our country, most holy and immaculate virgin, and convert the heart of sinners by opening to them the riches of your love and reveal to them the tender mysteries of your immaculate heart. Make of us the chosen instruments of your maternal love, that we may praise you with filial affection in this life and share your glory forever in heaven. Amen. Special Prayer O Immaculate Heart of Mary, Mother of Jesus, Our Lady of Fatima, inspire me to grieve sincerely for the sins that weighed heavily upon the souls of men. I recall the bitter and harsh punishments heaped upon your Divine Son when he was cruelly scourged at the pillar and mercifully crowned with thorns. I recall his sad journey to Calvary, his crucifixion, and ignominious death on the cross. Yet they were but the instruments of pain. It was my sins that really caused his precious blood to be shed. His excessive love willed that he should suffer for my salvation. Thus, I will give my little love to make amends and atone for a thoughtless and unappreciative world. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Act of Consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary O Immaculate Heart of Mary, Queen of Heaven and Earth, and tender Mother of Men, in accordance with your ardent wish made known at Fatima, I consecrate to you myself, my brothers and my sisters, my country and the whole human race. Reign over us and teach us to make the heart of Jesus reign and triumph in us and around us as it has reigned and triumphed in you. Reign over us, dearest Mother, that we may be yours in prosperity and in adversity, in joy and in sorrow, in health and in sickness, in life and in death. O most compassionate heart of Mary, Queen of virgins, watch over our minds and hearts and preserve them from the deluge of impurity which you lamented over sorrowfully at Fatima. We want to be pure like you. We want to atone for the many crimes committed against Jesus and you. We want to call down upon our country and the whole world the peace of God in justice and charity. Therefore, we now promise to imitate your virtues by the practice of a Christian life without regard to human respect. We resolve to receive communion on the first Saturday of every month and to offer one rosary each day together with our sacrifice in the spirit of reparation and penance. Amen. Immaculate Heart of Mary, 
Pray for us. Our Lady of Fatima. Pray for us. Concluding prayer. Mother Mary, sweet Lady of Fatima, in humble reverence and with contrite heart, I place my life within your loving keeping. I beg to detest my sin-stained heart. May we all, through the precious graces pouring forth from our immaculate heart, understand to what Fatima means to all of us. May the voice of Our Lady go forth into all land. May her desire issue that covered the area through the little shepherd children to renew devotion to our Heavenly Mother's Rosary ring out over all the earth. May it save a poor, distracted world from the consequences of its own folly and bring all out to the feet of Jesus through love of Mary, his Immaculate Mother, the Queen and Mother of us all. Amen. In the name of the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women. Litany to Our Lady of Fatima. Our Lady of Fatima. Pray for our dear country. Our Lady of Fatima. Sanctify our clergy. Our Lady of Fatima. Make Christians more fervent. Our Lady of Fatima. Guide and inspire those who govern us. Our Lady of Fatima. Cure the sick who confide you. Our Lady of Fatima. Help those who invoke your aid. Our Lady of Fatima. Deliver us from dangers of body and soul. Our Lady of Fatima. Help us to resist temptation. Our Lady of Fatima, obtain for us our bodily and spiritual needs. Our Lady of Fatima, help those who are dear to us. Our Lady of Fatima, help bring back to Christ those who have sinned against Him and you. Our Lady of Fatima, restore to us our fervor. Our Lady of Fatima, 